pester their pools too much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now in the bottom lane, initiation on the go black. He's silenced, taking the fiery swords. That's your first blood. Skywrath Mage finds it with an auto attack. At some point, they need to put some resources into keeping the shaker safe. But down bottom, Funic initiated on, and well, the same trio very, very become a little bit of a liability. Sure, you've got some presence in lane. We see the setup here on the Ember Spirit. Throws out the searing chains. He's probably gonna fall. Funix mans up, stands his ground, gets the kill there, but now the supports. Joining the party, a few more auto attacks will bring down the Phoenix. That'll secure the kill. Now Go Black stunned up. One more from the Venge. It's a one for two as Speed Gaming clean it up. Just not easy for him to deal with. Yep. One Tempest Spirit gets rolling. That's a, that's a bad sign. Tempest Spirit now level six, so. Dendi doing a lot of damage to Shadow Feet here. The dunk to cancel the Requiem. Nicely played by the Earthshaker. The hasted Dendi finds a solo kill. Very item dependent in general. Yeah, we talked about those those stats a little while ago, and oh, the hook shot! It'll actually miss. Funic will probably still die here, I think. No, the Icarus dive. Okay. Hits the peak. It's a close call, but the silence expires with just enough time to make the escape. Guys, like I got this. Oh no, Funic! He almost makes it out. Now they'll punish the Skyrat though. They'll trade a one for one. It looks like they just want to be funny. <laughs> so okay, funny thing. Time's the Navi playmaker, but he's definitely not been in the best form. Oh, we'll see. Speak of the devil, Havos, even losing out some of his of his farm here. Shadow Fiend goes for power treads, and what's that coming on the curry? Oh my, Havos up top. Oh no, now we're gonna get the Skyrat turnaround. Dendi will have a blink dagger shown off here, and they'll trade one for one, but not what Navi were looking for. Havos is like, sweet, I dodged the hook shot. Another. Yeah. And it's like, let's let's go round two. He grabs this 16-minute uh, rune. Speed game leader, we're doing beat. Giving up. Free Ooh, no. Hook shot up yeah. top. Grabs some both. Another whirling axe has come out, and I'm not sure that this is where the clockwork wants to be. Ooh, the Sky Wrath just in the nick of time. Brings him down. And Havost going to pay for that one. Go. Navi will bait this. They know that they can see it, and they're just ready to try and take a fight here. They're confident their ability outside of the pit. Go Black in the front lines. Can he get off the chain frost before he goes down? Dendi goes in with the dunk, brings down the Skyrath right away. Requiem Channels hits most of Navi, but in comes the Ember Spirit. That'll pop Dendi Lich, and oh boy, it's actually a pretty equal trade. Shadow Fiend on the run. The laser doing a lot of damage. It's Havos that cleans it up. It seemed like Speed had that fight, then all of a sudden Navi just erupts with this explosion of damage, and it's a two for five trade. That the chain frost is whew, just did so much damage. Dendi as well. Like, he ends up going down there, but they kept the lich alive. The lich mech was what made it. He got the ulti off because he just purchased that mech. And he got the chain frost off, did a ton of damage, and we want BKB. Okay. Yeah, he got the BKB, but it's like, where does he go next? Because this game feels like it's going to go another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Supernova mid. Okay. Oh, they yeah. bring down the egg and the chain frost. Ah, yeah. just a little too late. It like, seemed like a pretty close call. The space created them this time being. Now they go onto the Venge. Four staff keeps her okay. Avos comes in. Battle Trance on. A few more axes. He gets the kill there. BKB's on as he gets silenced. Van score. Blink forward. Telekinesis. Shadow Fiend pops the BKB. Manta, but Havos, can he find the kill? A few more auto attacks. Oh my gosh, the clockwork. He keeps his Shadow Fiend alive. It's just a one for one. What a player. The cog's blocking the entire path while he's BKB'd and then Ooh. hits him with the damage. Have to linger around for another minute or so. Yep. No, 30 seconds rather. So, initiation mid lane. They want to vault. They know his BKB's on cooldown. Yeah, but he does a lot of return damage. The clockwork gets low. Havos still alive for now. Stolen cogs giving that clockwork a taste of his own medicine. Havos on the run. The dubs may be enough to kill him. No, he lives. And they turn it around on the ember and the clock. Now they heal him up with the urn, the laser, or the sun ray, I guess I should call it. And Navi turn it around again. And now this will open up Roche. They walk into the pit right as he spawns. Havos says, today. See if you can say that. But that fight is showing the power of the skills. Having down. that much raw HP, the Scotty keeping Ooh. him alive. So you see like just two points in the size of the max sun rate, but you got a few more. Ooh. Okay, now the fight breaking out. Man score. Oh, hook shot on two. But now the clockwork. Stun brought down for the turn. Avos uses the BKB, goes to the high ground. Dendi hops forward. They get the kill on the Shadow Fiend. BKBs make it happen for Navi as the supernova flies through. Looks like it won't connect with anything but Phoenix. Will reset a uh, little bit here as he comes back with full health. Oh, Ember Spirit gets isolated. Now Dendi comes in, the core shaker giving in the totem. It's a one for three. They lose their Rubik buyback now on the Ember. 
as Navi take another successful team Radiance fight. Tower and the tier three tower attack. in mid taking some damage. The glyph was used at the tier two, so now they have no way to make an easy defense of both without a BKB. He needs to be a little careful, but hey, he's got the Aegis. He'll be all right. That will be the end of it. Funnick trying to use the Sunray to pick him up, but I think Navi okay with trading away the Aegis in that manner. And they can even look to potentially re-engage. Without the, without the Skyrath ultimate, Havos is pretty unkillable. But for now, they're going to... So, just doing the itemizing a bit different than we would have thought. We'll hold that thought. Swap on the Havos. He's going to be in deep, but BKB keeps him safe. Returns a lot of damage. Supernova used off to the side. Clockwork goes down. Phoenix will be okay. Again, the Supernova not really going to do anything in the way of damage or stun, but Funnix will live. Icarus dive out to safety. Navi did clear out one of the barracks. I believe it was the melee. Uh, no, never mind. No, they didn't. Pardon me. So, all right, just to pick up the clockwork. Havos back to full HP. The sustain, like, you back off. Havos gets low, and he's back more or less full HP. Full HP. Going for the ranged barracks. Battle Trance is on. Just throwing out those axes. Stun, and a defensive swap stolen by the Rubik. Nicely played by Vanscore. It's Dendi hops forward. He does drop the dunk. Radiance top Nobby, tower unable to secure any kills past this. Ranged barracks go down now. The rest of the fight breaking out. The Shadow Fiend doing what damage Dire he can. They'll lose their Venge in the fray. And it'll be speed gaming Radiance on the back foot as they're relegated to the well. And Navi left to go to work on this melee barracks that's still standing. They'll actually leave it. They get the range backs before making the... So now? Yeah, Ember Spirit. His items are getting a little bit better now with the Battle Fury and Crypt complete. But here we go. Isolated down bottom. Vanscore starts it off and have folks just brings him down. Oh, I'm watching like, can they burst him down? Oh, oh, now in the mid, Dendi with the initiation on the bench. He uses the dunk, secures the kill there. BKB on, isolating the clockwork. They still find the kill. It's fun if it gets credit for it. A three for nil across the map for Navi. And even a supernova used for good measure. Well, things are starting to look a little rough for Speed Gaming here in their second game. Dendi is... is Beast moding. These totem hits are just Radiant they're so big. Are fortified. Plus five eighty eight. Okay. Radiance middle it's pretty band. disgusting. That's where, you, that's where strength items are really good. Like the halberd gives you more strength, more base damage, which is more damage to amplify mm -hmm. for the earth shaker. So. Wow, with the bench aura plus like six nineteen. But negative. No, that's negative. Oh, that's an egg. Uh, He's gonna hit harder when the bench. What did he? Fall. Did somebody have a blast Radiance or something? He bumped into something that gave him a little extra. But still, Radiance very, very just potent uh, core shaker here. And this was even with kind of a bad start. I mean, Dendi, for Radiance all intents and purposes, lost that mid lane. And this is the recovery that you can make. That one kill to get him towards that blink dagger is all the momentum he needed to really turn this around. And that one Roche fight, that was just. Yeah, that's true. That so was the kind of nail in the coffin almost. That was. And at that point, that was like Navi had finally got their items where they could fight, and then Speed Gaming gave them the team fight that Navi wanted. It was like, you should see the side in a lot of trouble here. They won't have a glyph coming up for this fight. So if they lose this one, they're going to be in deep due to hook shot in right onto Havos. He'll be silenced. Skyrack Rage drops the ulti. Requiem of Souls flies through. They get the kill on the Monic before he can Requiem. Or, pardon me, uh, get the egg off. Denji comes in, brings down the bench. Now they've lost their clock where they just go ham on the Shadow Fiend. The bow's still barely alive. Silence. The Arcane Bolt will chase him down. Two. Double Arcane Bolt. He blinks back. But can he actually live? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Havos. Oh. He lives. The Ember Spirit not going to be so lucky. And this looks like the beginning of the end for speed. Tell me on this game. There it is. They'll tap out. GG. Navi starting off 2-0. In the wild card groups, Navi. now moving into the first slot, and gotta be feeling good after a performance like that. Havos just continuing his streak of amazing play for this Navi team. I think him and as well as Vangsko has been doing really solid on the support role. Um, Vangsko's Rubik obviously great, but he just gets a lot done on the Rubik as a, in some ways, kind of the. I feel like when you the way the kind of heroes go black play.